Tony, thanks for joining us. We're here at the Draft Combine. Uh, what's your overall impression of the, of the talent of the kids at this stage? Yeah, no, all very good, Tom. There's always good players out there everywhere each year and uh, um, the boys are putting in you know, a good amount of work and doing a good job. Yeah. Now, obviously, we've got pick three. We don't expect you to tell us who you're going to take or even if you uh, don't know who we're going to take at this stage. But what sort of players are you looking for throughout the draft? Yeah, I mean, we're looking at, you know, well, with a pick like that, you're looking to try and pick the best player available at that particular point. Um, you know, and I suppose across a draft, you're looking to, to pick a range of players. We're obviously looking to improve our midfield, you know, and our defence and, um, you know, with a range of players. But, you know, the whole thing about it is, um, you know, you're looking for players that can, can really excel in a number of areas. And it's a great week to sort of get your head around and get factual information on their athleticism. I mean, football's the most important thing, but then, you know, the combine provides a really good opportunity to assess everyone there and, and have the correct data. And, and along the way, we get to talk to the boys again, which is really good. You know, we've obviously been in the homes and met them on the RAS trip uh, earlier on in the year and try and develop a rapport so you, you know exactly uh, what you're getting and can make a really informed decision. Yeah. How do you weigh up the best players um, compared to what the club actually needs? How do you find this balance? Yeah, no, that's, that's an interesting one. And... Um, yeah, you need to. Uh, well, you just got to be. You got to make sure you, you're really careful and mindful of not overlooking the best players just because of a particular need. So, I suppose it becomes a point within the draft where you might start to look at your needs rather than who the who the really the better players are. And but there are other avenues within recruiting in terms of free agency and, and trading and the preseason draft and and the rookie draft. So it's a yeah. it's a it's a mix of things. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but yeah. we'll try and work through it the best we can and, um, and do, do our work and be thorough yeah. and uh, make sure that we you know, don't leave any stone unturned. Yeah. And uh, you've, you've got a big week uh, here at Etihad Stadium. What's, what's planned for the rest of the day and the rest of the week? You've got interviews as well. You're speaking to a lot of different boys, parents, families as well. Or, yeah. or, or who's, what, what specifically is on your radar? Yeah, well, we've got the beep test coming up next, so that's always good. And, uh, and tomorrow the 3K test, so you can actually see the players that got the ability to back things up and uh, you know, show their abilities with uh, endurance. Yesterday we saw the repeat speed and, and uh, the speed, the jumping test and so forth. As you said earlier, they, uh, you get good, a good look at their skills um, you know, out here, probably not under a lot of pressure. Um, so you do go back to the games a lot, but yeah. it is interesting to remind yourself what they're capable of doing and if they're natural on their opposite side or not. And um, yeah, we've got the interviews uh, this afternoon and this evening. Uh, we get to talk to the boys and fine-tune fine a few things in terms of what might be a few concerns. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's, it's just about knowing the best you can, yeah. rank them, scratch the ones that get called out before you, then pick the ones you like. Good. Well, it's a very important part of AFL, AFL football now, the draft, and uh, you've got a big week. So thanks very much for joining us. Yeah, good on you, Tom. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Thanks, Tony.